Begin by safely raising and supporting your vehicle and removing the wheels. If you need additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. In order to handle the caliper during the removal process, you will need to disconnect the wear sensor from the electrical line. Release the electrical connector by using a flathead screwdriver and rotating it to release the clip indicated by the red arrow. Next, remove the two T55 torque caliper mounting bolts indicated by red arrows. Always replace these bolts. They are torque to yield. Once the caliper can be removed from the rotor, you will need to handle it carefully as not to stress or damage the brake line. Never let the caliper hang by the brake line. If the brake line snaps or starts to bleed, you will need to replace the line and bleed the system. If you are leaving it connected to the line and just installing new rotors, you must support the weight of the caliper with a rope or hanger. You can now remove the two locating screws, red arrows, holding the rotor to the flange. There's a good chance these screws will be stuck if this is the first time they are being removed. Use an impact screwdriver to help break them loose. Once you remove the screws, use care as the rotor is now free. The rotors are extremely heavy and you do not want to drop them. Depending on the age of the rotor and where you live, you might need to tap the bell of the rotor or use a screwdriver in the cooling slots on the edge to break the rotor free. With the rotor removed, make sure to clean the flange to give you a clean and flat mounting surface. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not get any grease or dirt onto the new rotor. New pads and rotors need to be bedded in. Please make sure to bed in your pads and or rotors according to the instructions from the manufacturer of the parts you purchased. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.